Joker becomes first R-rated film to make $1 billion at global box office. A US R rating requires everyone under the age of 17 watching the film in the cinema to be accompanied by an adult. So I think this is congratulations to the team. Yeah, I don't know why super excited And remember we had them. a conversation on the show about a certain young man who took his life after mm. watching okay. Joker. So um, there was an... An expectation that it would probably affect the way the movie would do in the cinema, but apparently not. <laughs> I think it, it probably helped the movie. Yeah, so because after that story, I'm sure a lot of people want, want to, to know see. what happened and why would that movie make someone commit suicide. And mm. I'm just happy for them. The movie was not even um, premiered in China. It wasn't even um, shown in China at all because mm. of some certain rules. And it's still making so much money. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of it's them. It's America. Mm. Mm. No, but yeah, this is a global, 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 yeah, global yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I think people are drawn to darkness mm. whether we're accepting or not I mean people are attracted to darkness they're, they're curious to want to know what it is mm. my concern for this movie is the fact that it's rated R and anybody under 17 has to be accompanied by an adult mm. that is key so if it gets to our movies here are we going to have others accompany their under 17 to the oh, cinema? Oh, it's, it's already in our cinema. Because, yeah, because it's, rated, it. it's rated R. It means mm. under 17, an adult has to accompany an under 17 to go see the movie. Mm. How much of this do we keep to? That's and just that, major that, That's our problem. In this part of in the world. Yeah. The world yeah. you know, that's it. So, um, it is, it is what it is. The movie is out. It's rated out. Parents, if you go and allow your kids to go see the movie, they're under 17, then send them somebody. I think there, there's also a level of responsibility that should fall on um, those working at the cinema. So mm. if someone is coming in and you feel like this person is not is not more than 17 at least, you should expect that um, they, ID. you know, an ID card or mm. something. But over here, I think the most important part is buying it. I mean, guess, making the money. What's important? your pay? It's fine, yeah. And I, I, besides Joker, I've been to the cinema. I know this is an expressly it's, um, rated 18 movie. Mm. And I've seen children in this hall oh, yeah. with their parents. That's the most important annoying part is not just that they <laughs> came in mm. you brought this child and you know this movie is rated 18 so what exactly are you trying to say what are you teaching and your that's child? why i said so. that i think the problem is us here because if the rules are already clearly stated that things you have put in this movie can affect somebody in a in very a terrible age. way yeah. it's now your own responsibility to know that you should, even as an adult you might be over 17 and after reading all the rules and no you can oh no i don't think i want to watch this movie because it will affect me mentally it's just little things that we need to do to ourselves, ourselves to help yeah. ourselves and to avoid some certain situations like the guy that shot himself life I mean, yeah i think i think our movies our movies our cinemas should have those those laws enforced mm. and if you have to come in and see some movies that are rated you want to show some valid means of identification mm. to prove that you're up to that age too Mm. to be able to see the movie. We should definitely do that. Yeah. I've, been, I've been into a movie at late night where I had babies talking. I'm like, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. parent is out with a baby in this movie mm. at such an hour? And why are they even allowed? You know, the question is why are they allowed? I mean, if <laughs> they won't let you bring in any drink or food. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can't take external drink <laughs> external into that drink place. Then that, but you then can... you can allow kids to watch a rated movie. That's so just so ladies, wrong. just before we wrap up the show, I'm going to ask you two a question. Mm. If you had the opportunity, you mm -hmm. know, the, 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 the capacity, the means <laughs> to, to pull some shingle, would you do it? On my body? Yes, on your body. I would not uh, would you do it? Shingle, I won't, I won't go but, as far as shingle, yeah, but, but I know... It's, it's not even acting if I have opportunity or when I have very opportunity. Soon. I'm going to. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for me to have my children. So once oh, I'm wow. done, I'm working on my belly. Not my... My backside is very fine. My belly. Okay, and that's yeah, all. That's a commercial idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did I answer you, your question? Yes, you did. Mm. What about you, Ewa? Oh, yeah. Well, I would not pull a shingle, but I would pull something close to a shingle. You pull something close to a shingle? Mm. So that means you don't have anything against women who decide to go under the knife? Oh, no, 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 no. If it makes you comfortable and confident, why not? Hmm. That's if true. you have the money and they will do it right, why not? Please, when you have the money, be able to afford maintenance. Yeah, that's very important. <laughs> 